One of the main points of this whole project is, like I said at the beginning, is grouting this large crack, which you can see by the size of the gallet stones halfway up. You know, at the top it was about two, three hundred mil, and it went through the whole wall. You can see right through. Well, yeah, we're starting down the bottom. We drill the meter in on both sides, put a pipe in it, and then we gravity feed uh, grout into it. You, uh, we can be filling on that side and nothing will be happening and then about two or three uh, bucketfuls of grout it will be coming out over here but when you're filling up even though if you're if you're at this side filling up you can keep it all full uh, next it could be coming out over there because it'll find a void somewhere else so you had to have people either side of the wall you had to point in preparation and let the yeah. lime go off but leave holes strategically every half a metre, I think we put them all 300 yeah. up. And then, yeah, just fill it up using an unknown amount of grout because the, the middle of the wall is, is rubble. You know, the, each side, each skin is nicely made ashlar, which fits together very neatly. But inside it's kind of rubble. And you need to be on your toes because you'll be pouring in litre after litre and it could be working its way through the wall and popping out somewhere. But it all went pretty much to plan. There's, there's roughly an over a ton in weight of grout we right. put into these walls. Wait, it goes off, um, after about a week it starts going off to rock hard right. um, in, inside the walls. So it goes rock hard in, yeah, in the walls. It won't need redoing. And the, the actual functional reason is it's now, there's friction between the two, two sides of the crack so it's sort of stuck it back together essentially to help support. Because there was monitoring um, so it's got monitoring right now, but we did monitoring before, which measured all sorts of you know, ways that the wall was moving north, south and east, west, and the temperature and um, the wind speed. And I think you know, you can, the wall does sort of wave about a yeah. little bit. As, as the ground conditions change, all buildings move. So um, as the moisture content changes, the, the, all the walls will move. But there is, on the, the windowsill there, there's still a monitoring point in place. Uh, and that uh, electronically um, monitors the, the difference where the crack is. But obviously now the crack's been sealed, that shouldn't move again. So back in 2008-9, when you first started working, what was this wall sitting on? Uh, this, surprisingly, about <laughs> ten foot down, there was just five oak logs. Five yeah. bits of wood? Yeah, next to each other. <laughs> and then they built this on top of it. So it did quite well, really? It did amazingly well, yeah. yeah. And it only as it started... There, the water table changed. Or I don't know if the, you've actually the, got the, um, the timber bulks were in a, um, a clay liner to protect them, but obviously over time that degraded, and then as the the timber started to rot, that's when we had the rotation of the walls. Mm. So the underpinning was kind of traditional underpinning of hit and miss, but it was with um, diamond wire to cut out sections of 300 millimeters, so a foot all the way through of the timber would come out and then we'd put in the special concrete mix and then miss a section go on to the next yeah. one and then you know come back so we did that over two two summers or two years i think there were 120 individual cutouts yeah so really looking back did they do quite a good job the original builders well exactly yeah for um, it to last for it to long. last that long and then yeah suddenly kind of <laughs> quite quickly changed didn't it because yeah. it was right okay doing pretty well and then it very quickly changed but yeah, a bonus of this project was we were able to conserve and clean the sedilia, which is hard to remember when you're looking at it looking nice and clean, but it was very dirty and it couldn't really see the architectural detail as well as you can now. So it's looking very smart. Some of them joints on the canopy there that mm. weren't healthy. It's actually quite a lot of work gone into that, but mm. again, it's hard to tell standing here, isn't it? Yeah. Were there three weeks doing that, Darren? What's that? Were there three weeks? Yeah, three weeks there? doing that, yeah. They actually had two pushes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> just, like, really, <laughs> just really gently. Fine, and then just um, cotton wool, they were dabbing it and cleaning it down with two pushes. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, filling all the cracks in with um, the water repairment. 
So like really soft line yeah. mixed with... Um, so has the carving at the top been quite well preserved? With, yeah, with it being sheltered in, in here. An element of really good stuff. I don't know if there's One part on this corner was uh, uh, Lucy, the custodian, uh, found it on the floor and we've glued it and they've glued it back on. <laughs> the finial, yeah. Right at the top of there. Yeah, so they've uh, put it back on. <laughs>